but whoever's coming into the school, whoever's going to continue coming to the school, whoever's going to go into the school, as in if you have kids, honestly, this is going to really affect everybody. And it's not the teacher's fault. It's fourth year graphics. Exactly. And now she just found out just now that... That. I told him. You told yeah. Yeah, she and people are bawling in tears because of these circumstances. And you may think, oh, it's not gonna affect me right now. That's because it's not gonna affect you right now. It's gonna affect you a year from now. Guys, without okay? photography. It's gonna affect you next year. Me, like, when you're enough. sitting in a class you didn't want, Landing. you'll know, oh my god, I could have done something when such and such came to my class and I could have given them a signature, which we're gonna be passing around right now. Okay? <laughs> so if you guys can please sign this with your first name, last name, signature, ID, that would be great, but that's not the only thing we need you to do. We need you guys, no, not a protest too much. We need to know, we need these district people to know what is happening to us. Basically, they need to know that this is affecting us and we can't deal with this. Honestly, protesting, leaving school, that's not gonna help. That's gonna show that we don't consider school as something that we don't really wanna be here for. So if you really want to do something about it, just have your parents do signatures, have them do, you know, basically emails to the district managers, anything that's possible that can actually help out other than leaving school. Because the whole thing about leaving in the middle of school, getting up and leaving, that doesn't do anything. Not but screw yourself we over. We were, we were considering on organizing a peaceful protest after school on Thursday. Now only go if you're going to be there for a peaceful protest. If you're going to make a riot, you can't make a riot. That's the purpose. Not take it they're not they arrested to... kids at another high school. I mean, the police they're they're being lawsuits filed because they have the right to protest. But the whole reason why they got taken away is because they caused a riot. The kids were flying everywhere. And the it, thing is, is honestly, the reason why I would be there can be a problem with the protest is because of the fact that you're going to have all those people that wanted not take it serious. I just want to screw it over so that way the people that are honestly devoted for it and bringing these programs back or bringing something back here are going to get screwed over by that circumstance. And I'm just considering the fact that, you know, my little brother got screwed over when he was in hammocks and I didn't take the FCAT serious and stuff. So, you know, everyone knows that he got a D school. That's when they put up the bars, that's when they cut off electives. That gave him a reason to do a, buzz, a budget cut over there. You guys my little brother They asked For him. For FCAT. No, and they asked him. And he said, you know what, no, I quit because I was, I, I studied music to be a music teacher. You can't ask me to do something I don't want to do. And That's if you consider a lot of the people that do the intensive reading classes and the intensive math classes, they're usually teachers that don't want to do it. And the only reason why we're having to take FCAT four, five, six, seven times is because of people purposely failing and not taking it serious. Honestly, Surprisingly, the FCAT, if we had done good this time around, I don't know what we got yet, but if we do good, or if we had done good, that would have actually probably brought some electives back, because then not so many people would have had to take the classes. But it's just one of those things that you have to know that you're making a direct effect on what's going to happen to you later on. Every little thing that you don't take serious, someone will, and they're going to use it against you. Guys, I'm going to be a senior next year. Just so you know, I have to take summer school, night school, just to make up a, a computer credit. And which she doesn't know what she'll be able to take. Probably she'll have to be here for another year afterwards if they don't give her, let's say she's missing two credits, like she that, can't go to like summer school. Like for Japanese, they expect me to take a summer class for that too, or something else, because they're not, have, they're not putting you into any more electives. My friend Leilani, she went downstairs and they give her between a, a, a science class or something like that, or stagecraft. Mr. Bodie will be up to his ears in children. Exactly, okay. and they keep on tossing them on the same teachers. And you know By what, you can guarantee teachers, you're going to have kids, 40 kids in a class. Kids aren't going to Teachers can't function like kids that. Kids aren't going to take that class seriously because, you know, it's like, okay, throw me in stagecraft. Yeah, you and know, a lot of people that are taking dance, we're talking about, I think it was like 190 students that they yeah, mentioned. 190 students in five periods because they're not going to pay for that sixth period, mm -hmm. which they would have to pay the teacher more for. So they're going to give her five periods with 160 students. If you... I mean, 190. If you do the math, which I'm not going to do right now, that's enough to kill you, okay? <laughs> a whole year with that. When they could have just brought another teacher to help out, which would have actually saved them. It's all these little things that are actually adding up and causing a big effect, and you're going to feel it next year. That's why we need to do something now. It's almost been too late, honestly.
the only reason why I did something now is because of the fact that my little brother came falling in tears to me this morning about the fact that he lost all three of his electives. After that, they just jammed them into something else. I don't even know what. He's going down to the counselors right now. But it's one of those things that you're going to feel this. They're doing the schedule change in the next couple of days. And if not, they're going to just give you a sheet of paper that says, oh, you got this class. So if you can get your parents to write to the district the problems that are happening, they'll be able to hear and understand what's happening. Because it's not just one, two, three, fifteen, a hundred people. It's mostly the school. It's not too late, guys. We still have four more days. And, you know, two of those days being we don't have finals. And I know some of you aren't going to come, but if, if you If you do decide... come those days and decide to do something about it, bring your parents in to argue about the fact, oh, they gave my son a schedule change, why? And then they say, oh, the district said we had to get a budget cut. They can ask for emails for the district. The dance students went to Miss Navarro, and she simply stated that she didn't care. Well, I don't want and to take that not, into consideration it's because anything, it's not... It's not, and it, she didn't say it because she was being careless, because it's not in her hands, it's in the district. At this point, it's not the teachers, it's not the principal, it's the district, the people that supply us the money to run. It's the whole thing about, you know, if you want to consider going to New York and they give you 15 gallons of gas, you know it's impossible. You're going to have to do a lot of improvisions. And that's what the school is basically doing right now. It can't run on what it's given. So it's having to cut a lot of things. It's having to make a lot of little cuts from the paper to the food to the jacking up in prices. Honestly, you'll see it get even worse if you think this is bad. And that's why you need to do something about it.